everybody, welcome to our Black Panther review. Spoiler review, just for, right. for you guys uh, not to be surprised when you watch don't this. Don't cry, it's Saturday. We, we did it a day later, so you guys can watch it, so you don't see the, you know, the Civil Kitty and Scotty V especially. It ruined the movie for you. Yeah. Too nope. bad. Too bad, so sad. Your problem. All right, so uh, this movie finally came out. Black Panther. We were excited. We had the privilege to go see this guys a day earlier than everybody else probably did yesterday. The day One before. word. <laughs> Scotty, should they go see this thing? Yes. Go see it, guys. Marvel has delivered again. It just depends on what level you think they have delivered. Yes. That's in our opinion. So, Scotty, let's start off this spoiler review of Black Panther with the opening scene. Tell the people yes. at YouTube land. How it opened up. So the opening scene is with uh, T'Challa and Kachaka, I think that's his name. Not, yes. I pronounced it right. He did this time. So he was, <laughs> I can't even they remember were talking about. back and forth about how Vibranium came to Wakanda and then it was through an the asteroid. The history. The history through, through the asteroid and they became very wealthy because of that. Mm -hmm. And then we go to Oakland. Yes, 1992. Nin Oakland, California. 1992. So uh, there was like, I guess like a heist that was getting ready to go down, right? It looked or like planning there was something of planning of something bad going down. It was like, uh oh, here we go. Yeah. Dugs. And then, guess who showed up? Black Panther. <laughs> the original. Well, well his father. His T'Challa's father. It was a good touch. I like that. It was kind of like a neat spin, guys. The way they were trying to uh, spin why they were there. Yeah. And then uh, he found out that uh, T'Challa's brother betrayed Wakanda and was selling uh, vibranium. To yes, they criminal, were. So. Ex yeah, they finally got the. I guess Scotty, the explanation of how the vibranium got out and how Claw is kind of indirectly attached to that. We don't know at that moment that he is, but he, how they planned to work together to do so, right? That's right. It was. It was cool. I liked it. You like the opening credit? It was different, Scotty, because I'm like, am I watching a Marvel film or am I just watching a some sort of like you know gangster kind of thug movie or whatever? And then mm -hmm. it kind of jumped into modern day, which was cool. And not only that, Scotty, we forgot to mention he kept on looking. Oh, T'Challa is that his name? No, the father. T'Chaka. T'Chaka's uh, brother apparently had a kid. Yeah. And the kid was playing back because he kept on checking downstairs. There was a couple of kids playing in the basketball court downstairs, you know, and he was kind of like, why is he keeping an eye? And then you've seen some sort of light above him. Mm -hmm. And that's when he appears to confront them. And, uh, and you find out who the hell that guy was looking through the window is. And then the man who was standing beside him. But we don't find out exactly the whole connection because he was there to confront him. And then we didn't know what happened to him. He says, you got to come back to Wakanda to answer for your crimes. And then it just kind of took off to modern day times where we went to. We went to Wakanda, right? Yes. That, that's where we went or we went to a mission? No, it was a mission before a mission they were getting before there. before Wakanda. And they were saving a bunch of, uh, I guess, captured people. And his ex. And his, uh, yeah, his ex. That was kind of funny. Like, just the interaction, guys, that you got from... Because uh, they, they had intel that she was there. Yes. And he's, uh, one of his warriors is like, don't freeze. Yep. I never freeze. And I think he also was there, Scotty, because he <coughs> wanted her by his side during his coronation down later before they were headed back yeah, when from he, Civil when War. He, when he was coming, becoming king. Yeah. And uh, guess what? He did freeze. Oh, it, it was so funny, guys. It was unreal. So, okay, that's the opening of the movie. There's a big action scene that him going to a jungle to save his ex and bring her with him to Wakanda as they go. And that's when you get the reveal of, oh, my God, here's Wakanda. It's hidden. Mm -hmm. You got the explanation, a little bit of the origin. His brother, his uncle, in a sense, connection, mm -hmm. and the little kid, which we'll tell you later. But we don't want to Yeah, that. they did tie it with Civil War. So just in case if people got Yeah, confused. well, let's just say, that, right, Scotty, that we found out that the villain is connected through that opening scene. We can tell you. It's shit. It's Killmonger. Yeah. Right? Michael B. Jordan's character. Which I was very surprised about. Yeah. So anyways, now, Scotty. So now we're going to get into the likes. What do we like? I'm going to let you start, and then I'll just chime in. I like... What do you like about the movie? I liked um, that they made his sister very smart. Yes. And she she was funny when she needed to be funny. Funny as hell. It's kind of like what you have, that sibling uh, rivalry. You know, especially like two brothers that do different, but with a brother and a sister, and a sister. you have that dynamic. Yeah. Did, could you relate to that? Because I don't have that. I have 
No, I my could, brother, right? That's all about. I, I could relate to that because I'm the older. I'm the oldest one, Isn't right? That kind of teasing, like that. So that was realistic. Yeah. Trade well. Yeah. After what happened a couple of days ago, yeah. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> Scotty V. Oh, that's all I have to say. But anyways, yeah, I yeah. like the, their dynamic with okay. those two. What else, Scotty? Uh, I like the new Black Panther suit. It just kind of forms on him. We're going to see something similar to that with Iron Man's costume. It looks Co- with the sick. Bleeding, the bleeding edge armor. Yeah. It just forms on him because we saw it in the Super Bowl spot, mm-hmm. right? So that was pretty cool. Uh, Eric Killmonger, I was very surprised. Very well he had He had a purpose to go back to Wakanda and take over the throne. And he so actually... Good did take the throne because he kind of killed well not really killed uh, T'Challa he defeated defeated him but he kind of looked like he was dead the way he just threw him off the the fall right so just, mm-hmm. just, see you later buddy but yeah I wish I had a little bit more screen time of him because he was a little underused when he was on screen guys like you felt his presence like you're like whoa that, that that's the only way I can describe his performance and you know He's going to burn it all, and he almost did. Just got to keep on going. What else do you like and before I, I liked, chime in? And then I like the Civil War in Wakanda the with tribe? all the tribes. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. The tribes yeah, going yeah. against each other. Yep. When the rhinos. Oh, my, you're, riding, you're riding on rhinos? Just imagine oh we got that in Spider-Man. <coughs> yeah, I know, right? What, amazing Spider-Man, <coughs> too, right? And he actually was like that. It looked good. The graphics for that, yeah. the, the CGI and, was not bad. And the whole cast was good. The cast was really good. See, Scotty, and that's where I'm going to chime in and jump in now. Yes, like Scotty said, all the actors and the casting for this film, phenomenal. Everybody brought it. That's what made this movie very believable, Scotty. Everybody had a key role in the movie. And what they did and how it was portrayed progressed the story and you believed them. Yeah, and another thing mm -hmm. before we finish up, because we're... Because time is kind of running out and our battery is going to die. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> um, T'Challa went to speak to his father and he's like, I'm not going to be like you. We're going to tell the world that who we are. Exactly. And we're not going to be... Carve his own path. Sort of like, you know how Iron Man, in the first Iron Man, Tony Stark is like, I am Iron Man. Yes. It's the same thing. He with, outs himself like yeah, that. Yeah, he's like, we're, we are from Wakanda. We're actually very rich and mm-hmm. we're willing to share our So resources. that was a key point for you, right? Yeah. We're willing to share our resources cool. and with the right people for me scotty i like the way the origin was told it yeah. was done in a way you know that you were interested and they didn't do it too much over the top you explained how the first back black panther came about how he's going to take it and i think it was like third king yeah third there was like at least There's four or five of them on that tree yeah it, it kind of reminded me of the lion king that's what it reminded me of which was good it was like the lion king with uh some action that's the way i'm going to describe that's, that's the right. vibe it was so well done guys it was phenomenal Scotty, I loved, one of the parts that I loved was the tribal part. Like, you know, when the challenge, like he was going to become king for his coronation, and then every tribe member wanted to decide if they should challenge him for and, the throne. And, and they, they all didn't, didn't. Except that one guy who came down. Yeah, the man ape. That's that that's fight, it. guys, and the way they shot that, phenomenal. The music, the drums, it yeah. was and, crazy. And T'Challa could have killed him, but he gave him mercy. There you go. That was phenomenal. That's one of my highlights. And the other one was when Killmonger comes back to Wakanda, and how he did. Makes his way in by offering Claw's body, because that's what they wanted. They wanted to find him, so you can watch it. We don't have to tell you every single detail, but well, that fight, and then that fight sequence when he comes in, mm-hmm. being the badass villain that he is, saying, I'm going to come in. I lived my whole entire life to come here and kill you. And he basically, that fight, holy. And when he got tossed over, your heart like fell out of your chest. I don't know, it, it meant so much when he got defeated, you're like, oh shit. Nah. It really happened. Did even, he just get rid of them? Even the heroes fall. Exactly. I love the political ties, that how they twisted their own little political views with modern day times, and they used Killmonger as their connection to the real world, or the rest of the world. Like, mm-hmm. you know, look at our, our people being oppressed, getting attacked, so much crime against us. Why didn't you use your powers to help us out? And that's when you said near the end in one of their post credit scenes that that's what they did. They want to use their technology to make not only better for themselves and their people, but everybody, which that was a good message. I like that message. And you know, to, to prepare the world for the invasion. Exactly. And you know what? And I love the fact how they uh, integrated Wakanda with the rest of the world. It felt like it was an actual real place on the earth. Mm-hmm. So that's my likes. Okay, now, Scotty, what are some of your dislikes? 
Uh, I really don't have too much dislikes. Okay. If you had to nitpick one? If I had to nitpick, it was when they were speaking their African tone. Yeah, they had to they use were, subtitles. They were going back and forth with English and in oh, African. Oh, okay. Too much jumping around. Uh, yeah. That, Hard that's, to follow? Yeah, sometimes. But Did it ruin the flow for you? Is that no, what I didn't know? No, no. Okay. I just didn't like how the one time they would speak African and then the next day we would speak English right away. Like that, That's just little things I don't like. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the second thing I didn't like is mm -hmm. there was no Infinity War. Tie in, tie in. That that that's one of I my was, dislikes. That was I was so disappointed. I was expecting to at least see Thanos in the ship. He's something, like, something, something. We only got the Winter Soldier. Yeah, and okay, we kind of hint, hint, wink, wink. He, they brought him back. <coughs> I was wondering too during the whole thing that they were getting attacked there. Where the hell was the Winter Soldier? Did they thaw him out previously and he had kept him stashed there, or was it a thing at the spur of the moment? We better get this guy out of here because we're supposed to keep him safe. Yeah. He's a threat, which was neat. Scotty, I agree with you. The only bad thing that I would add, what Scotty added, guys, it was there's not enough fighting. Yeah, it was more. Story. It was more storytelling. Even though it was great, loved every part of it. If it had a little bit more fight scenes, it would have been added more, much more fun for us because we like we like the action. But don't get me wrong, the chase scene and all that stuff, phenomenal action. And when they did, oh man, those guards, the the female guards, what they called the warriors. The warriors. Oh my God. Can they ever fight and they kick butt just the way things They're, get the whole, tossed? The whole chore, uh, the choreograph choreographic fights and everything was amazing. Yeah. All right. What do okay, we have? Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. You already covered that. So now, Scotty. Score. Uh, closing scene. You want to say how the movie ended? Uh, Near the end? Well. He ends up going back to where Killmonger was from. Killmonger yeah. dies. He, he refuses uh, T'Challa's help to be saved with their technology. He goes, no. Which is good because you know what? If you're going to kill off a major villain like that, it had more of an impact than, oh, you know what, yes, I'll turn over a leaf and now I'm a good guy. No. That's what he went through. That's how he suffered. And that's how the movie ended. Yeah. And that was strong. And then he went back to uh, Oakland and he bought all those buildings that were going to get demolished. To help his own people. And that's when we got the post credit scene. Of him going out to the world, to the UN. Pulling a Tony Stark in a sense saying, hey, here I am, here we are. We're here to help and make a difference. Exactly. Okay. Final thoughts. Scotty. Final thoughts. Uh, it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. Not one of Marvel's best, best movies, but it's It's there. up there. Right? It's up there. Okay. Yeah. For me, Scotty, like I was saying earlier. I'm going to get some hate for this. Okay. I still thought Thor was more enjoyable than... You like than, Ragnarok better. So this Black is Panther. up there, but it's not the top movie, the top guy. I would I would rank it underneath Thor Ragnarok. Would you go see it again? That's the other question I would uh, ask you. If I have time, yes. Okay. For me, Scotty, like I was saying, the best way I could describe this movie, it was a great film. It's not an amazing film. Is it one of their top four or five movies no. of the whole thing? Probably not. But again, depending on your background and all that, it might have a little bit different meaning than it did for me and Scotty. Yes. Still a great movie. Don't get me wrong. Loved all the actors, the actresses. Loved it. Best way I can describe it to you guys, if you guys want to check this out for yourself, is it's like The Lion King with some action. And it's done well. So it's yes. like that well done. Actors sell it. Everybody did a phenomenal job. Scotty, what would you give this thing out of a 10? Uh, I would say 8. Good. I would give this a 7.5 just because of what we said that, you know, those little minor quirks. So yes. right. that's pretty much it. So now, before we go, a million dollar question. Now, was this, will this movie coming out before Infinity War, does it benefit? The movie that's coming out soon, if no. anywhere. You think it was the right choice for them to put? They could have, they could have, no, you know, they could have put Black Panther in November and have, and have Thor come out in February, but. It will make more sense for a chronological. For me, Scotty, I think Marvel's genius because the, for this movie, it's a feel good movie. Let's bring everybody's hopes and, you know, that there's a nice future ahead of us. Mm -hmm. Just for Infinity War, when we get it, we're going to get crushed. All our feelings. We're going to be so devastated with the event. I think it's going to have a more impact. So strategically, it makes sense for Marvel. And I understand, get them all up here. Your feelings all nice, lovey-dovey and happy. And then get crushed with the yeah. Infinity War. So, Scotty, I think that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys like our uh, spoiler review of uh, Black Panther. Yes. Check out our new episode. It's going to be dropping. Well, it dropped yesterday. Yeah, I think you guys are going to get a kick out of it. And, of course, next time, next one we're going to be here for is what, Scotty? Infinity War. I Infinity think. War, yes. So, guys. All right. Be good. See you soon. Go see the movie. Black Pop.